All right, guys, it's Casey, and I'm back, and I've made a few renovations again. Threw in a, an information panel just for the heck of it for my MFEs. Um, I realized, did some research on fuel consumption in the biogenerators. Realized that when this is full, it actually doesn't consume any fuel, which is awesome. So I just have this on a switch here. A lever and this is always running um, because it, it's super well I mean it's not gonna waste any fuel so it might as well be running anytime there's room in here it just burns a little fuel and fills it up all my machines are running perfectly um, farms are going still had some issues with things getting clogged up but I worked it out um, specifically with the the mulch here, um, what was happening was my diamond pipe was misconfigured. I forgot to add mulch to the blue side, so it was just getting lost, which sucked. So that's fixed now. Um, the main thing which I've been working on is the basement. Finally got a bit of a basement going, and this room, which has a steam boiler set up in it, this guy which is pretty crazy it's my new it's like basically a way to make steam out of fuel and then you use these guys steam engines and they they generate a lot of MJ per tick and this is the maximum size boiler you can make and it can support like eight of these or or more 16 or something a lot anyway I have nowhere near that amount yet so I'm working towards it but for now I'm just I just needed to set something up quickly to run these machines, but my plan here is I've got this boiler room and it's going to supply all my power for my base. Um, I might even use this to make EU by generating lava. Um, a lot of forum, a lot of responses have said that's what I should be doing. And I checked it out and all the people in the forums kind of agree, so that seems to be the way to go for EU, but. Honestly, the biogen I don't use that much EU now, so I think I'll just leave the biogenerators. Um, but anyway, this thing is this thing's crazy. So you have to build nine, or you can do like one, one by one, two by two, or three by three. I just figured I'd go for the full thing anyway, because I'll probably build it eventually. Each one of these is two steel plates, and there's 36 of them. So that, or sorry, iron plates, and these are the what hold the steam. You can make them out of iron or steel. I, I chose iron just because um, there's like high pressure and low pressure. And for what I was doing, I didn't need high pressure. It basically means you can hold more steam, but it uses twice the amount of fuel, I believe. Um, and the fireboxes are these liquid fireboxes. Where are they? I can't type. <laughs> Uh, liquid firebox. Yeah, so it's just this steel plates. Took a lot of steel plates to create all these. There's nine of them. Um, so you have to give it water and obviously fuel, and then it just burns it. Um, and makes steam. And the thing is with this heat, is it needs to heat up to its full. Basically, until it heats up max, it's really inefficient. So it's burning a ton of fuel more fuel than it needs to when it gets full it, it burns like a really small amount of fuel I think it's like eight fuel per tick which is definitely doable from my system so my, my tree farm system um, but like at startup it burns like 80 fuel per tick or something crazy it's it's a lot um, but it's not warmed up yet this has been running for a long time like at least an hour or two in like real time so it's not even well. It's over halfway now, but yeah, I guess that's. I guess it goes up faster with smaller boilers. So uh, the bigger one obviously is going to take a while, and yeah, it's about to yeah burn a big chunk of biofuel. So that chunk will get smaller as this gets higher. I believe is what happens. I hope. <laughs> um, but I've set up a couple machines because basically I want to make. My goal is to make instead of all these conductive pipes, I like to use uh, redstone conduits but I needed hardened glass for that and the way you make hardened glass is pulverized obsidian and lead and I didn't want to go mine a bunch of obsidian 
just because I, I knew I could make it with this guy. Igneous Extruder. It's pretty cool. It basically takes lava and water and makes what you want here and based on what you choose it uses a different amount of each thing so for cobble it just makes it for free um, but you do need one bucket of lava so it's not going to use it up it just makes it um, like as it would in real you know vanilla minecraft you put uh, lava and water together it makes infinite cobble um, stone will use up a little bit of each to make smooth stone Um, and it needs at least a bucket to work, so yeah, I depleted that. But obsidian takes one bucket of each, and it makes obsidian, so there's my obsidian. I can throw it in this guy. Ooh, got some silver. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up going with a pulverizer for my ore processing because in the future, because the macerator is really fast, and I'll use that to make like sand and stuff like that. But this guy, he, he can make like a byproduct. And there's a chance of like uh, basically this like well for lead I got some silver. Um, I think for every different ore there's like different chances, so you can end up with slag. What the? <laughs> you can end up with uh, this. I think it's slag or something, which rich slag and non-rich slag, which you can add when you smelt to triple your ores instead of double them or something like that so you usually do this where you give it a sand and it makes two um, but you can replace that sand with some with like uh, that slag I believe in and then uh, that's what that's what it does let's see oh that makes slag and then you ah uh, yes okay so this makes slag and there's a chance, 25% chance, and then you can use rich slag to triple your ores. Oh, okay, how do we get rich slag? It's just a chance when you make, when you smell stuff. Oh, and this can actually, huh, so you don't have to grind it, it just makes two. That's awesome. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, so I'm probably going to switch to a setup where I use pulverizer and induction smelter instead of the EU dudes up here. Um, I like having these machines. I mean, nice to have if you need to do something, but... And the master is really friggin' fast, so <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep that. Um, but it seems like for in terms of resources, these guys are the ways the way to go. Um, so I gotta make some more hardened glass because I need to make conduits. Do it. I always put the plural and it never works. Um, yeah, so this is just this guy. It needs electrum and hardened glass. And this, oh yeah. Oh yes, hardened glass. So I need to create some more electrum ingots because I do not have enough. That's for sure. That's for sure. Awesome. Yeah, that thing's fast too, so it's just a preference, I guess, but I'll probably end up using it. Oh, something glitched out there. <clears throat> nope. 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 Out of control. Out of control. Sweet. So those are like the pipes, because this thing builds up a lot of excess MJ, which I like, and I'd like to have like a bunch of these running. Basically go through these conduits, which all store 1k MJ each, and uh, and then have that uh, hooked up to a cell, or several cells ideally, um, and then none of this energy goes to waste. Now what I'm hoping is, by the time this heats up, I'm hoping that my tree farm can keep up with the fuel production. Uh, fuel usage of a fully full boiler because the problem is is if you let it cool down, it you know, it has to it has to get it has to heat up all over again and that's no good at all cuz that just sucks like 
all my fuel. Like, this started today. I started at half mark, and it's gone down to here, and it's a little over halfway uh, heated up, um, which I guess means that exponentially it's going to be getting less, less and less fuel as it gets closer here to heat up or to power it. But yeah, um, so I'll probably cut and set up my redstone cells, and I have to create um, what is it? you need to do to fill these. It's like you melt redstone and you put it in, oh yeah, liquid transposer. Actually, I think I have time now. I can do it now. Make some, make some more thermal expansion machines. I really like the thermal expansion, like all the GUIs and all the way you can select the face for input. That is really cool because all those other, other mods their machines, they work fine, but half the time you spend is like <laughs> figuring how you're going to intricately uh, intricately hook everything up because it takes so much uh, or everything is on a specific side, you can't change it. Um, so half the time is like goofing around trying to like creatively wire something up. Uh, I think I'm good. Machine frame. Boom. So if I'm clever, I should put this on this side because then I can just switch the output face and put Okay, so then I need to put redstone in. But I'll let that one might as well do this. So what I like to do is have my magma crucible and then stuff that can use the magma crucible on either side so I don't need to pipe it, which saves me some trouble. Um, fix this wall. So if I set my input, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is awesome. Um, I think this is what I want. Yeah, fill mode. And blue is my input. And I hope that didn't go in there. Oh yeah, okay, we're good. So then I'll switch this over. And I need redstone. I got a fortune pick. So I was using it to get redstone. It was a lot. It's like three stacks of redstone from a few veins. It was nice. Okay, that's going out into this guy. That's perfect. That's what I want. Oh yes, uh, these things are cool. I need another one. Come on. Basically, they're wires, and I kind of went over this in my FTB Beta A Let's Play or Season One, I guess it was. But when they're hooked up to stuff and they don't break, you can shift right click them. Maybe not. I think this is the wrong. There was a way to break these like quickly, because they take a long time to break. I thought it was the shift right click with the wrench, but it might be something else. Next thing I need is a cell, because this will actually hold it. And you can like pick these up and they keep their charge. Oh yeah, we got that stuff. We got that stuff. Perfect amount. Hardened glass, electrum, and diamond. Ba -ba -ba. All right, and this boom energy cell. Push. Just need to put that in here. And this one takes a whole five buckets. It's gonna be a lot more redstone. So I'm going to cut until that's ready. Okay, so it finished, and this thing's full. It's ready to get charged up. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, having, like, a charging station here with, like, two of them or one of them waiting, and then I can just pop it out with a wrench and put an empty one in if it's full or, or whatever because I like to be able to store up a lot of energy. 
Um, eventually when I get an assembly table going over here. Uh, so that'd be really good. I'm just gonna pop these out. And this guy as well, I think. Yep. Alright, so... Oops. Whoops. Okay, so... Oh, and that's gonna build up. We gotta turn that off. So the way these work is pretty slick. Throw them on here, hooks on, input or output, yeah, output, that's awesome. And I'm gonna have it coming over this way. And now, where should I put the cell? I can put it here. Wait. How did I place these down? <laughs> I remember I did this before, and now I completely forget. There was a specific way. Oh, I need to craft it into the, ah, yes. I need electrum, lead, and a conductance coil. Well, I've got lead. And I'm to electrum. Was it three? Oh, no problem. I'm gonna get rid of some of this extra stuff. Uh, silver. There we go. gold, but no. That's okay. That's no problem. Um, yep. And three, three, this, and boom. Okay, so this one. Yeah. No, I can't pick it up. Okay, there's something about a hammer. Iron, silver. I think you need that. Shift right click with that, does it? Okay. So if I put, I should, I think I should put it there. And then this can kind of be like, you walk in. And if I want to, I can put another one in line with it here. Just leave that space. Okay, so this is set up for input. Turn this guy on. So that fills up really fast. Burns through this. Oh yeah. That's very cool. Awesome. So these guys can all get deleted. Oops. And this can be... Wait, that... Oh, that doesn't take power. Okay. Cool. And let's switch this. Output. Those are inputs. And are they working? They're full. This is empty. What? What? Output. Input. Oh, okay, this is still charging, so... Ah, uh, yes, I understand. Very cool. Okay. Okay. So then... I thought I made more of those. I thought... Oh, they're in... Yes, they're in there. Perfect. Alright, and the machines... And whoop. 
What's the other one? Induction smelter. Did I lose the induction smelter? Hmm. Let's go find it. I probably threw it in one of these boxes. What? Oh my God. it under here somewhere. And that's really weird. <laughs> I want to know where it went. Oh well. Wait. This guy. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go find that. Um, anyway, I think that's all I wanted to do this episode is basically show off the steam boiler. It's not heated up yet, still. <laughs> show off the steam boiler, get my conduit set up, and kind of show off that how this energy system works. Now everything's full, almost. And then this is going to start charging. And I don't know why this is here. I think this means... I don't know, it's weird. I feel like this should be discharging at the maximum speed. Um, so that should be empty. I'm not exactly sure what this meter is, so if someone can tell me in the comments, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, and if you like it, uh, subscribe for more. Alright, thanks again.